Hi, I'm an exponential function. Today, I will be drawing my life. I look like this, but I can also look like this, as well as a variety of all other ways. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. In order to understand me, you have to understand where I come from. This is just my end result, f of x. The f is a reference to my status as a function, while the x is a reference to the exponent. The exponent is the part of me that reads a to the x. The letter a is called a growth factor. What makes the growth factor is its relationship with the exponent. As the exponent grows, the a grows as well. As a grows, so does the last part of me, the initial value, represented by the letter c. The growth factor is simplified to the power it is raised to, and then multiplied with the initial value, which gives us f of x. Here's an example of how I work. Say we have f of x of 3 squared. The first thing we would do is simplify the exponent. That means we would multiply 3 by itself to come up with 9. Now our function reads f of x 5 of 9. All we have to do now is multiply 5 by 9 to get f of x equals 45. Now that you know my roots, we can talk about my journey in graphing. The easiest way to graph me is assuming that my initial value is equal to 1. My form would then be f of x equals a to the x. For example, let's say we have f of x equals 2 to the x. To graph this function, we would simply plug in numbers to the exponent to find out what f of x may be. This column is going to show the value we are plugging into the problem. And this one will show the point that we are going to find on the graph. We will be graphing both positive and negative numbers, our middle term being 0, as 2 to the 0 power is always 1, which will make our y-intercept. Let's plug in the numbers negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. The next step is to raise 2 to these powers. OK, now that we have those figured out, we can start graphing. First, let's locate where our y-intercept is. From there, we can find the rest of the values we come, came up with in the table. Looking at all the values graphed, you can clearly see a trend as we go from left to right across the, the x-axis. If we draw a line, then we can clearly see that they gently curve in a positive direction. As our positive powers grow larger, the difference between the first point and the past point will grow greater, making the slope possible. So that's my life so far. I have a ton more stories to tell, things involving fractions and transformations and equations. But that's a story for another day. Thank you for watching Draw My Life. Bye.